Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits, again joined by my buddy. Leather. Yeah. And today, today we're going to be looking at some Danish beer uh, from Fanny Boykos. And this is uh, one of the beers in their uh, Kunstnerud series, and this is their fifth beer. Uh, it's also their uh, 400th uh, batch of beer. And the Kunstnerud series is a series where they pay tribute to different artists, because Kunstner, Kunstner in Danish is artist in English, and this is a tribute to Else Pia Martins and the Arts, which is a Danish painter, and I had no idea who she was until I read the, the description on this bottle. But I'm not going to go into detail, because, yeah, who kind of cares? <laughs> yeah. She does, she designs beer labels now, so now she's relevant. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's called Imperial Vestkust IPA. And West Coast is Danish for West Coast, so I guess it's a West Coast IPA, but apparently it's based on their West Coast Pale Ale, wasn't it what it said? Yes. Yeah. 8.3% um, alcohol, hop with Cascade, Citra, Amarillo, and Simcoe. So some really nice hop marities in there. Fairly new release, so this should be interesting, so let's dig into these. We hope so. So, we've got the Imperial West Coast Port from Fanny Bokus, and that's a pretty nice color. It looks like a double IPA. It looks... Fantastic. Yeah, nice it's and hazy and orange, bright orange. Yeah. My, I got a bigger head than than you, but it's like a two finger whitish. I was kind of careful when I poured, so yeah, that's probably why. Right. Little head, but yeah, <laughs> you got a little head. I got tiny. Head. <laughs> you got a little bit of head. Yeah. <laughs> you get that joke. I get it. Let's check out the aroma. The appropriate joke. Yeah, that smells pretty hoppy. That smells pretty nice. It smells. It smells just like a beer for me. It's most West Coast. I get like peaches and grapefruit, orange, it's a little bit of caramel and toffee in there too, though. Yeah, lots of grapes. Yeah. Just like a IPA should yeah. be. Yeah, a lot of grapefruit. A little bit of piney notes in there as well. But yeah, it also has some of those floral, almost tea leaf like aromas with some pine. And oh, wait, I also get picked up a little bit of resin. You want to give it a taste? Smells uh, perfect. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. That's fairly bitter. A lots of citrus. Yeah, yeah. lots and of I, lots of grapefruit and citrus notes. And a and a, a pure sweet taste at the at the end of it. And um, I think I think that's a pretty pretty good taste for IPA. Yeah, I like it when they're the sweet. It's like the sweeter juicy kind. Yeah. Uh, but it's also fairly bitter. I get a decent amount of bitterness on the back end. Yeah. Of the yeah. Same mouthfeel is like medium and dry. Yeah. It, and again, I get that almost tea. Kind of flavored tea leaf or something. Yeah, well, actually, that's what actually it's right. But also, as you said, grapefruit. A mm. lots of grapes. Uh, yeah. Very, very, very bitter. When you yeah. get it in, uh, the first thing that comes to your mind is is a, is a lot of bitterness. Yeah. And then the sweetness takes uh, over at the end, and then yeah, it's a pretty a, good combo. Yeah, with a little bit of like sweet malt and and kind of toffee notes. But uh, up front, there's also some some slight orangey or slight some orangey tangerine notes, almost going into tropical fruit. But just barely, and then like peach, a little, a bit more bitter for citrus, but it's got some piney notes and a little bit of that resiny flavor, yeah, and, and floral notes. It's actually a pretty good IPA. Very good. Uh, I really like this, um, especially for a Danish one. It's not as good as uh, some of the beers that to uh, the IPAs that Tuol does. I think they do the best Danish IPAs out there. You need to try that eventually. Some okay. of their beers, they do some some fantastic brews. Well, we're actually going to be trying one at the beer tasting. It's still okay. an IPA though, but it's a hoppy saison. But this is this is really good. Uh, not mind blowing IPA, but I really like it. So yeah, I want to go eighty on this one as well. Um, good mm. stuff. I'm getting more and more interested in Fainu's uh, beers. They they do some pretty solid stuff. I love the IPAs, and um, and for my I think it's a it's a straight out eighty or something because it's not as good as gluttony. No. No, we had. No, nah, no, it's not that good. I also get that 85, I think so. But, mm. but uh, whatever, I think uh, I want to give it a, a, a 80 because, um, yeah, I didn't really like the taste, I like the bitterness. Um, it's a bit for me. Yeah, the sweetness on the end is yes, yes. nice. So it but it's not the best I have, but. Yeah. 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 I also like that the sweetness makes it so it doesn't dry you out completely. But good stuff. Yes, so very good stuff. If you can get uh, the. Fanny Boykus Imperial Vest Coast IPA, definitely check it out. Pretty good stuff. 
Uh, yeah, guys, remember to let us know what you think of the brew if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. Thank you for having me. No problem, nothing. And we're going to see you guys in another video.